Hello, uh, this is my friend Dan, and we are here on a beach in an undisclosed location. So uh, don't ask where it is. Anyhow, we're going to look for Petoskey stones, pudding stones, and whatever other cool things we find. So uh, let's go. Just found a pudding stone here. Ooh, nice one. Got some on the back. Uh, Dan had found one earlier. It's his first find ever. Pretty, pretty heavy, but it's nice, both sides. That's cool. Well, maybe you'll find a bigger one later. Dan's got a couple. Yeah, that big one's really nice. That's a great one. That's what you're after is a bigger That's one today, exactly. right? Exactly. And that one's not bad. Because you never know. You run them for a couple of days and pull them out and go, huh, well, that's not what I thought it would look like. <laughs> yeah, they do change sometimes. How about that? That's a weird looking. I don't know what that is. It's a Petoskey. I think it's a squished. Oh, yeah, I can see it over there. Yeah. Must have just gotten of... crushed under other rocks like or it. something. I just saw the end there at first, yeah. but that's what cool. Caught, caught my eye. So I found the other one's bigger brother. That's a nice one. Okay, now you found a decent size pudding stone. I'm so happy. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Hands on a roll. He just put down the pudding stone and picked up. It's not coral. often you find horn coral with an interior view. That's really neat. That's a big one. I think that's horn coral. I think it is too. Cool. I just pulled this out of the water and kind of looks like fossils in the white part there. You don't usually see red around like that, so. Don't know what that is. Kind of cool though. Now, Dan's out collecting me today. What's this? That's, uh, that's a little piece of perfection. It's exactly what I've been looking for. That's awesome. That's a that's a really good one. A little close up on it. Nice. Yeah, you found all the good stuff today. Dan continues to outpick me. At the undisclosed location. Wow. That's even better than the last one. I gotta get a bigger tumbler. I gave him the good spot in the lake. <laughs> okay, I'll give it back even though I don't want to. What you got there? I do not know, but I haven't seen anything quite like it. It's kind of pinkish purple. Yeah, I don't know what that is. You don't have to identify them if you hold them up for the camera? I don't think so. Okay, well I never do. <laughs> I just thought maybe you would. <laughs> <laughs> okay, finally found a pudding stone. It's small, but it's really good. I like that one a lot. Well, Dan just handed me this rock, and a lot of you guys have asked what the green rocks or sometimes their blue rocks are on the beach. Uh, he picked it up and thought it was beautiful, and I think it's kind of boring, uh, so I never pick them up, but obviously there's other opinions <laughs> other than mine. Uh, so I'm not sure what this is. I always thought it was basalt. Um, and uh, somebody thought, thought somebody asked somebody who uh, I respect their opinion, and they thought, no, it's probably not basalt. So. Um, I gotta find out what this stuff is. Not really sure. Here's a horn coral. It comes through the back, but it's kind of cool looking. That's a nice piece of granite, even though I don't keep granite. But we'll take a look at it before you hear the plop. There's a nice Petoskey stone. Small, but just about perfect otherwise. So one of those mud stones. If you watch my rocks in a box videos, I showed some of this polished up. It gets kind of a 
semi-gloss finish, I guess you'd call it. Not perfect, but kind of cool. I like those. Had a little bug problem on the water here. But I was able to find this little banded iron, which don't find that here very often. That's jasper and hematite. Well, Dan just guy. found something cool. We aren't quite sure what it is. Yeah, I don't know what that As is. with many rocks we found today. <laughs> That's what's fun. You never know what you're going to find. Right. That's cool. I'll take that one. Yeah, I think you should. We got big rocks, we got little rocks. All kinds of fun stuff here. Not sure what we got here. Uh, basalt, maybe? Almost looks like an agate right there. I don't think it probably is. That's neat. It's kind of cool. Just red all the way around, then that big piece of quartz there. All right, this is a very interesting rock. So it's got this big red stripe around it, but look at the little stripes that go right through from the light colored right through the red. I don't understand that. That's cool. Also noticed one while I was standing here with the stripe around it. Kind of cool. Here's a Petoskey stone. If you're new here, this is a state stone of Michigan. It's a fossilized coral called Hexagonaria. It's about 350 or 360 million years old. And there's a lot of it on this beach. They polish up really nicely. It's a very soft stone. Found another big horn coral. Kind of cool. Look at this cool thing I just picked up. That's not a pudding stone. I don't know what you call that. Call it cool. Call it a keeper. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for coming along with us. We'll see you next time. Thanks.